Hi, this is Melissa with Will Hoyt Training. Thanks for joining me to take a look at Will Hoyt Self-Certifications, Lease Renewals. My best tip for this part is to tell you it's a two-step process. You must go in and generate an offer, and then you must go in again to renew based on that generated offer. To generate an offer, first we'll need to find the resident. Click view next to their name to pull up their at a glance page. And on the left under actions, find renewals. Click on renewals to see the pullover and then select generate renewal offers. In this box, the following needs to be completed before hitting save at the bottom right. The lease start should be the first of the recertification month. The days valid can be anywhere between 0 and 120 days. Offer valid should be the current date. And then we have the lease term offers. So to create a new offer, you select on the hyperlink that says no offer. Select the lease term of 12 months. And then if you have any specials, you could select that. In this case, we do not. And I will select save. The renewal price should be the tenant's rent amount. Um, again, no specials um, unless you have any. And then the lease end date, make sure that uh, it is accurate, adjust if necessary. You can leave the additional billing at the bottom as is and select save. Now you've created the, uh, now you've generated the renewal offer. So what we need to do now is go back in and complete the renewal. So I'm going to go back to renewals and this time select renew go MTM. When I do that, I'll have to select an offer and I want to select the one that I just created. Then we'll look at the lease sign date. This is going to be the effective date. Choose the leasing consultant and then select, select the late fee method. At the bottom, click Next. Review your scheduled billing and select Next. Now when we get to the Renewal Offer Summary, you do not need to print this page. You can go ahead and select Finish. Well, that's it for generating and renewing lease renewals. In the next tutorial, we'll look at doc management, the applicant packet for self-cert, and the lease packet. Thanks for listening.